Whoa, this is a new corner of my room that you've never seen before. And you can see the side of my head in the mirror here. Update on my life, first of all, because you're all here for me and not for the actual video. Uh, the plumbing in our house is fucked up. I got this new chair that you can't see uh, from my roommate who found it on the side of the road by a church, old church chair. And uh, I got asked at Spencer's if I worked there, which I do not. Also, uh, no, I did not get a haircut. It just went back up in my skull. So if you're familiar with my videos, you'll know that I love myself a good, fat, thick sketchbook. And I do that just because I like to do it personally. Um, if you don't like to do it, why are you watching this video? This video is a tutorial on how to get a thick sketchbook. If you don't want a thick sketchbook, why are you watching the video? I just wanted to preface this video by saying I don't, I don't think you have to have a beautiful, voluptuous sketchbook. Um, but it's an option. Personally, for me, uh, having a thicker sketchbook it kind of like helps me visualize how much art I've done in it. Um, and also I grew up super poor. I'm getting out of it now, but I grew up super poor. So I'm kind of used to using all of my supplies as much as I can because I don't like buying new things if I don't have to buy new things. I like it because it helps me, uh, gives me a better visual on how much of my sketchbook I've completed. It fills me with like a sense of accomplishment and it helps me get the motivation to continue on. So today, we're gonna learn how to do a sketchbook thick style 3000 and we're gonna do it right. Uh, follow along, you can draw while you listen, I don't care. Just watch the whole thing. Give me those views, give me those sweet, sweet views. And give this video a thumbs up. At, um, at 100 likes, I will cannonball sister into the air and she will be gone forever off of this earth and into the cosmos. Let's go. So this is my sketchbook so far. Stop asking for a sketchbook tour. It's not finished. I can't do one until it's finished. This is what my sketchbook looks so far. Um, as you can tell, this is the side I have completed and this is the side that I haven't completed. Just kidding. Um, you fucking idiot, totally fooled you. This is the side I have completed. It's a lot fatter. I have to squish it down to see the real size. I would say the first tip that I have to making your sketchbook look fuller, and this is uh, page wise, not necessarily silhouette wise. Um, it's just add color where you can. Because if you'll notice in my sketchbook tours, a lot of my drawings um, on these pages are not very complex or technical at all. What makes this page look fuller than it is, is I added color to it. It's like, it's not like a finished drawing on every page, which is what I think a lot of people think of when they think of like a good sketchbook. First of all, a good sketchbook is, it, that's a non-term. A good sketchbook is just a sketchbook that helps you improve. A good sketchbook is a sketchbook you feel comfortable with. The next tip I would like to include is uh, including a variety of things in your sketchbook, like different styles, different mediums, and different subjects. I said subjects weird. I used to go through a phase in middle school where I just, um, I just drew wolves, like wolf after wolf after wolf, and that was fine for me at the time, but I did find that it kind of stunted me. I would say I really started branching out in my art at around age 15, if I had to guess. I got figure studies. I got architecture drawings in here, like this one. Uh, I don't like drawing architecture, but I do like learning about uh, drawing different things. So, you know, in drawings, like just Pinterest, Pinterest, photography. I have fandom art, which this is also like, okay, you're just drawing humans again, but these are the fucking Venture Bros, dude. And I've even got like cars and shit in here. I think it's important to try your hand at multiple different kinds of things, see what works, see what you like, see what you need to improve on. If you're used to drawing people, maybe branch out and draw some plants or draw some cars or draw some buildings or backgrounds or environmental studies, whatever. Bring your sketchbook with you everywhere you go, if you can. Take your sketchbook anywhere. Like take it to the restaurants and don't be embarrassed to draw people, even though it is embarrassing. Most of the time people are too worried to even point it out. Like I've had people who I know caught me drawing them because we made eye contact, tender loving eye contact for at least three seconds. But they didn't say shit. And if you live in a small town, I understand how that can be scary because uh, small town, <laughs> everybody knows everybody. But if you live in a bigger area, you're likely never gonna see that person again. So I say go for it. Uh, different mediums are also important. I use markers, cheap and expensive. It also helps to range in quality because if you're doing something that you don't want to put a lot of time, effort, or money into, you might not want to whip out the Copics. Paint, different kinds of paint, gouache, acrylic, watercolor. I use uh, craft paper. I tape, I tape stuff in for a collage kind of effect. I actually really love doing collages. That's one of my 
second most favorite art forms, I would say, is collages, because they're so fun, they're so freeing, but we'll talk about that later on. I might make a whole video on collages. You guys want to see a video on collages? Let me know. Get as much variety as you can in your sketchbooks. And I think my final point that I'm going to make for this video, because I don't want this video to drag on, I am very good at rambling, um, is tape stuff into your sketchbook. And I think that that is the most important aspect to having a fat sketchbook as mine is. Taping stuff in is so, so, so fun. One of my favorite pastimes is finding uh, really cool National Geographic magazines and just tape uh, cutting stuff out and taping it in my sketchbook. I liked them. So I taped them on my sketchbook. I made a collage out of them. Uh, I really love this page. It's a little blank. If you really look at it, the only drawing I have on here is this one of Sissy. But I just taped some Nat Geo stuff in. Oh, I also drew shake. And I also found this sticker on the ground outside of my house. So that's pretty cool. You could just like find random shit and put it in. Look, stickers all over this page, sketchbook label on here, all these, sh all these shopping bags. It's also really fun if you have one of these little pockets in the back of your sketchbook. Let me see if I can open mine. My sketchbook uh, spine is a little messed up. If you have these pockets in the back of your sketchbook, you can just put stuff in there, you know? I've got tons of stuff in mine. I have um, this, some halves of some lamination sheets. I've been having a lot of fun using self-adhesive lamination in my sketchbook lately as well. I found this on the ground. I'm probably gonna take that in there somewhere. I don't know what this is or what it's for, but it, it's cool. It kinda looks like a radio in a, in a car's dash or whatever. Just tape a bunch of stuff in, put stickers in, uh, use different mediums, collage, you know? And it doesn't even have to be paper. I've taped rocks into my sketchbook before. I've taped cardboard in my sketchbook before. I've taped um, fabric into my sketchbook before. I've even seen people sew in their sketchbook, like embroider on the pages. Personally for me, embroidering is not my thing. Uh, it's way too time consuming. If you like to embroider, I mean, that is perfect for you, dude. I'm just saying. So yeah, that's it. Just get wild with your sketchbook. I'm trying to find more stuff to fill in the gaps in between my sketchbook doors. God knows, um, this bitch ain't gonna be done anytime soon. I got work and school and uh, it's all full time. So, you know, chill guys, chill. I I've read your comments. When's the next sketchbook tour gonna be? Release the sketchbook tour now. Release it now. I can't, it's not finished. You can't tour something that's not finished. It would be unsatisfactory. Okay, we wanna reach climax here. Speaking of which, um, don't follow me, please, if you're under 16, I guess. I feel like that's a good age I'm comfortable with uh, watching my content because I joke about sex and I say cuss words and I will tell your mom if I catch out, if I catch you, if I catch you, if I catch you and you're watching my video and you're 12, I'm gonna dox you. This makes me a couple price, okay? I don't want kids watching my content. I, I don't want my audience to be children. Thank you. Anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you'll come back for another. Give this video a big fat like and I will send Sissy to the sun. Goodbye. I like this little sitting area. I wanna get like a table here, like a little table and like maybe a little lamp. I feel like this could be my new video station. Hold on, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Get out of here, get out of here.